Hello everybody, welcome back to Trev Dog Gaming here on YouTube. This is the game Subsistence and we are now in episode 90. Well look at the water. How's that everyone? Winter is, a f well not, I'm not sure if it's officially over but it looks like it's over. We have water again, all the ice is gone. I'm kind of sad in one way but um, happy that we don't have to keep digging holes to get down to the to the caves and whatnot. Um, okay, so uh, look, uh, a little bit of grinding off camera. We are now, I think we're now in day 336, 336. So we're getting close to a year in subsistence, and it is time today to go down to uh, Ore Outpost 1. Uh, by the way, this little vehicle seems to jump around a little bit. It was leaning, it was over here at one point. <laughs> Just whatever. Alright, well, we're going to take it for a run, and guess what? I found out where the fuel is. Look, um, in the trunk here, I've got oil and biofuel. The fuel for the ATV is actually biofuel. And if we go down this end of the car, where it turns into this icon, hit E, there's actually this big square underneath the battery, or when you've got biofuel on you, you can just double click, double left click on it, and it should pop into the fuel chamber. So, yeah, we're full of fuel at the moment. It took, now from memory, I think it took 34 biofuel to fill it. So I've got 50 in the trunk, I've got some spare oil, the battery I assume will charge up as we start going, so... Uh, oh. Now, just let me get this drop-off delivery from the courier, home delivery. Brilliant, thank you. And we might as well make our way down. Now, the problem also is... Uh, nice and steady as you go, that's good. Do I need... Oh, maybe i just leave it open. I don't think animals would be going in there. I can't do much damage anyway. Um, obviously, there's no ice now, so fantastic tri uh, timing there, Trev. Now, this is a good question. So, do I get off and pick up everything I see, or do we just drive down? Because... Oh, that's kind of useless. Good, but not so good. Um... So I have to be really careful about where I drive, too, because I don't want to end up in the water. And can I go through shallow water? I don't know. Is that considered shallow water over there? I mean, I've got to try it, haven't I, really? I have a feeling I think the wolves... Um, yeah, so if you use your third mouse button, like your the mouse wheel, it will... Um, change gears for you, so steady as she goes, first time yeah, I reckon we can get across here, hey oh, well, we'll, we'll, we'll try it okay, cool gee, she makes some funny noises when she runs over things okay, well that's good to know I'm not, I'm not gonna go through large pools of water so I think wolves run away from you, but I'm not so sure about bears Okay, let's jump it up a gear here. Oh, that's a pig. I haven't seen a piggy for a while. don't think the piggy really cared. The piggy just stayed there. Oh well. Um, so I'm in second gear at the moment, so it's nothing uh, kind of really exciting, but... Oh, hang on. Oh, hang on. There's a white wolf and a black wolf. Oh, we'll, we'll test it out, okay? Let's see if they buzz off in another direction. Oh, they do. Okay. So it doesn't matter what the colour is, they don't like the vehicle. Oh, jeez, you've got to be kidding me. What sort of a bump was that? Oh, I did do damage to it. I didn't think it was that bad. Gee, you have to watch you don't do that in front of an animal. Okay, so she's not great at taking the simplest bumps, so this is going to be interesting. So, ugh. which side do I go on? This one over here? What's with all the pigs today? Oh, and deers. So I have to kind of more or less keep to the slopes, I guess. The the pigs almost look like they don't, couldn't care less. Hmm, it's kind of interesting. Yeah, jeez. Yeah, this might be interesting because you have to kind of make sure you just follow the slopes and not the or partial paths or whatever you want to call them. See, I'm pretty certain there was always a path. I mean, at least I don't have to worry about stamina or anything like that. I'm just 
Oops, oops, oops. <laughs> oops, oops, jeez. Yeah. So it looks like small amounts of water isn't a problem. I'm trying to watch up in the top right hand corner there, it says, what does it say? 280 something? Oh man, so I'm gonna have to use. Um, look out, rabbit. I'll scare the rabbits too by the looks. There's another deer in front of me. Oh, there's crates and everything. And a, is that a lock crate? Holy crap, it's in a lock. Oh, I've got to get off here. Sorry, people. When there's important loot like this, I've got to get it. I guess also in one way, if, um... Yeah. Luckily, I did make another lock pick. I think I made two. Yes, I did make two. Oh my goodness. 15, 20... What the... Hey, what? That's like 33 iron fragments sitting in there. And six scrap. Ooh, that was worth it. That was worth it. Yeah, these shorter distances, I'm not so sure. But then, the problem is you damage the um, ATV a bit as well. Hang on, what's it say for fuel? I've gone down one little graduate... Oh, wow, okay. To me, to me, it's not... Well, I'm, I'm not in... I'm not running it in third gear the whole way or anything either, but... Look out, chicken! Look out! Look out! Yeah, I'm not running it in third gear everywhere, so I guess I'm not... I'm going in eco mode, maybe, if you want to put it that way. Um, it feel, oops, there's a doggy again. Oh, jeez, as soon as you get back into second gear, she gets a little bit carried away. So maybe I should take it steady. Chase the wolf back the other way. I don't want to chase it to my base. Oh, jeez, I think it is running towards the base. Holy crap, it's going in the water as well. Oh, he's... Technically very scared. See if I can do a Yui here without scratching the, the ATV. Okay. Just have to assume I'm here. Oh dear. Where is he? Is he in the water still? He'll be around the back here, I'm sure. Oh, he's way over there. He's going to do circles. He's doing circles. He's drunk. Alright, now, um, I have a feeling there would have been mm, at least 15, maybe 16 days between the last time I came down here. So if you multiply that by 7 or 8, there would have to be 100 ore. Okay, that's a good guess. Is it still sitting on 1800? 1851? Yeah, it's still... Okay, cool. Let's have a look. 128. Oh my goodness. 128 of both. Hmm. See, that's really worth it, isn't it? To be honest. Alright, that's all good. Still got a few supplies in here, so that's, um... It's pretty good. I might leave the other four protein bars there. Do I need anything else? I've got fertilizer, I've got some spare scrap... Yeah, no. No, that's all good. Alright. Fantastic. What the? Oh, it hasn't quite finished with the snowing yet. Is that what you're saying to me? Apparently. Well, I don't think it's going to ice the water over, though, I wouldn't think. See, I'm not so sure about this. Oh, there goes the white wolf again. Oh, man, I tell you, if I see the scrap, though, surely I've got to stop for scrap. Who wants to miss out on scrap? Does it affect the vehicle in any way if I keep doing that? I don't know. Now there's another... Gee, there's a few deer around. There's two of them just there. Is there a better path back? Should I try the high... The high road? Maybe? See, I haven't seen a bear yet. I don't think the bears are going to get chased off by it somehow. Hmm... It's not exactly a straight road home, is it? Because I keep doing these... T tossing and turning from side to side. The good news is that the wolves disappear. 
get out of your way sort of thing. Yeah, there's another wolf. No, okay, the water's still there, so I can't I have to go around it anyway. Just wondering what sort of area I don't want to go off a cliff either. Oops, jeez, that's getting a bit it's a bit bumpy. So I should be able to go down there. I think the wolves are far enough away, I think. I don't know whether this is really what you would call, um, I wouldn't exactly say it's quicker. Not because I keep getting off and having to look for things, so maybe, I don't know. Kind of handy, I suppose, if you want to chase the wolves away from a crate. Uh, okay, we've got a little stream here, so we should be able to get over this, right? Hmm, okay. Oh yeah, okay. So little streams, it, it's not a problem, but it's, yeah. And bouncing around the place. So it is a little bit, it's a bit, it's actually fairly easy to fall off. Maybe I need, no, I don't, I don't think I can repair it until I get home, is that right? <laughs> Chasing this wolf. Hey, actually, can I go right up and around? Or do I have to go through water to do that? Hang on. Because one thing I don't want to run into is a mountain lion, because I've got a feeling it won't run. Oh, it is a bit cold up here too, it's minus eight. Okay, we might try that when it gets a little bit more of a clearer weather pattern happening. Alright, let's go down beside... I wouldn't go across here, I think that's just too too deep. I think. Or is it? There's a white wolf just there. There's a chicken, can we run over the chicken? Oh, I might have to stop for this one. I mean, I'm not going in a straight line between bases at all. But I'm kind of curious when I get home exactly how much fuel I've used chewed through. Hmm. I reckon I could probably get through there, you know. You know what, should I try it? It doesn't look that deep, I reckon I should. I can always recall the vehicle back to base, can't I? So, here we go. This part looks really shallow. I'm not sure about the other side. <laughs> uh, which way am I going? I'm just going straight across, aren't I? Okay. Yeah, it's only, only like halfway up the tyres, so it's not that bad. It's a little bit random as to which side it throws you off on when you try to get off the bike. Jesus, they're trying to tell me something here. There's a few shotgun shells appearing in my inventory. Okay. So that was one question I had. Can I actually just move around? I'm going to annoy that wolf. Oh, there's more scrap. Wow, he's already gone. Yeah, not too fussed about stopping for everything, but the, the scrap and the crates I probably would. Well, that's pretty cool. I mean, I thought this was going to be a much better day to be doing this, but <laughs> yeah, anyway. Yeah, it seems to work pretty well. Yeah, like I said, I'm not going in a straight line, but... I've got a, like, is this the end of the winter blizzard thing happening or something? Because it's like, what the... Well, I think it did this when we started anyway. Oh, I can't leave those behind. Trev! Man. 
Alright, let's get back to our garage. Ah, jeez, Trev. Oh, she's a bit, bit bumpy. As long as it pushes the, um, the dogs away, I feel more free just to jump off and collect loot. Second gear, third gear. So how do we go parking this thing then? Do we just drive straight in or do we try to reverse or... Might be a bit hard to reverse it in. Then again. Is that far enough in? I don't know whether that's really in the place anyway. Am I inside? Oh, apparently I am. <laughs> Okay, you must get close to it, then it just... Oh, maybe you can just park in forwards, and then it just pushes it back to where it should be. Okay. Alright. Oh, hang on. So, the damage that was done wasn't an awful lot, but what's it say? Uh... Hang on. So, construction, doctor vehicle... So, I can shield it. Oh, okay, maybe I need the these items on me to start the repair then. That's probably what it's getting at. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Okay, so advanced mechanical parts and heavy bolts. So we do have to make a few of those just to make sure we've got enough um, spares to fix the bike when we need to. Well, that was pretty cool. I can't even see what time of day it is, but that feels like it didn't take as long to me anyway um, what are these things up to well, that was pretty quick and easy wasn't it alright let's give myself a berry water in there with one of them let's put the berry water in the cupboard can I see anything else to put in there I don't think so so we've got some ammo and stuff. Ca oh, actually, I see what I probably forgot. Ugh. Um, yeah, that's an awful lot. I'm going to need to make another one of these. And... Wow. Okay, that was... Yeah, that's pretty good. Got a lot of that upgraded quite quick. Got a lot of matches again. Which is healthy. And I need to get my biofuel back up. I put, you know, like I said, a bit in the car, in the ATV. Um, let me just do a little bit of housework. We'll see how much I need here. So that one just needs a top up, but it's kind of finished, I think. That one needs a top up. Then I think it's this one and this one. So that needs water and fertilizer, and then this one is going to need mainly fertilizer. Needs a top up of water as well, which is kind of funny because now it's a little bit easier because I'm just doing it from here, which I'm kind of not used to doing. It's been a while. All right, let me just grab out the excess of that. Put that in there. That can go down here, that's good. Alright, well, I think now according to the power, see if I can get yeah, my masses back up. So I'll make another, another lock pick while I have the chance. What have I got? 31 scrap. Um, let's do that. Uh, how chickens doing? I filled up before we went. Yeah, they're not too bad. Okay. Um, how about these guys? Wow, six. I set this one back to zinc. I've got three water back. Which I do need to go and take care of my food and whatnot. Uh, yeah, let's just throw that in there. Oh, there was 18 in there. Oh, okay. Cool. Uh, actually... Hang on. 
What are we down on? Probably more just normal ore, hey. The, the normal iron ore. I bet we throw that in and get that going. Right at the moment, it's not the best day for the solar panels, but... Yeah, we're breaking even, basically. That's that's pretty cool. That's my second one of them back. Alright, let's go and take care of food and water. Mainly food, I think. Yep. Um, I'll eat the steak. I actually had grabbed a few carrots before and some onions, so... Two onions, two carrots, might have another water, and that should be pretty good. I did pick up a lot of eggs before, I'm not sure why all of a sudden uh, the um, chicken started laying again, but... Doesn't matter, it all works, all looking good. Yeah, I think they need... Oh, that might have been where I had the spare water before, hang on. Let's have a look, I've got two in here anyway. So let's just throw a water into each. And then we probably could go with four tomatoes actually. Let's have a look in here. Drop off the fertilizer. Let's just grab the two water. Yeah, the water's a bit easier than it was before, obviously, because now we don't have to go as far. Uh, by the way, I have been trying to use coal and not that wood, as you've realised, but... Look at this. I have, I've gone back up to a thousand wood again. Isn't that cool? There was a hundred wood in this chest and I did take it over there, so I kind of didn't... It was sitting down the bottom in this chest, but I've taken it out. Um, yeah, so that's all good. Alright, what we're going to do, grab four tomatoes... Take the water back to this chest out near the chickens. So, two tomatoes for you. Put the water back in there. Two tomatoes for you. Okay. Looking pretty good. Alright, so the ATV has definitely worked. Um, but, yeah, I will have to look at more heavy bolts for repair. Actually, did I have more Molotovs? I have three in there. Okay, just checking. Um, yeah, so the heavy bolts were quite easy to make. Although I don't have a great deal of mass at the moment. The advanced mechanical parts were the most expensive. Not just for power and mass, but also for black crystal. It could make a couple of them, so how about we do that? Uh, oh, that's right. I took most of this other gear downstairs, didn't I? I? have to bring up. As we get more, I might bring some up. So, what were we chasing? A dozen? And then a dozen zinc. There you go. I should be able to at least make a couple of heavy bolts. There you go, should be able to line up two of them. And then off camera, I'll keep making a few every now and again, I think. That way, at least I can repair the, the car, the ATV. I, I, it's not like it's that badly damaged either. But, yeah, it's good to know. I think you've got to have them on you, and then down here at the bottom... I don't know, I guess I just... I could go and get the heavy bolt, and then just see if it allows me to repair something on the car. So it's saying there it's 283 out of 300. So it's only like, what, about 5%? Excuse me. About 5% damaged, do you think? Something like that? I don't know whether you need both. It's got them pointing to some repair items required. I have a feeling I think you need both. I can try grabbing a heavy bolt if it's made it already and just have a quick look and see. Probably worth having a, a sticky big. See if that actually fixes anything. Otherwise, like I said, you'd have to... Okay, no, they're both made. 
Otherwise, you'd have to put a chest down there somewhere. And then just keep spare parts in it whenever you wanted to repair it. Okay, now it looks like you actually need both by look by the looks of it. I can't kind of put them in there, can I? Oh, you can. Can I start repair? Okay, that's gone green, but that's still red. So yeah, I think I think you actually need both. Uh, if you put one in there, it does the same thing. Okay, might might be better off just putting one of each in there and just see. You wouldn't want to waste them at all because they're not not the cheapest things to make. Anyway, that is very interesting. Might have to look into that next episode actually, the repair part of that. It's not like the ATV is that badly damaged. I wasn't going that quick when I kind of hit something. But it's also a little bit hard to tell what speed is dangerous and what isn't. Anyway, it all works. It all works. That's the main thing. Um, how come my food went down so quick? That was very quick. Um, I might take one of these, cut it into halves and cook it up. Hang on, which one am I looking at? This, one, this one's got too much water in it, basically. Where's all this water meant to be? In here? One of them's meant to be in there. Oh, the other one's bound to be the, um... The other side of the, uh... Chicken coop, I bet. Yeah, okay. Alright. Put all that back. Fantastic. Get back here in time. Don't want to burn these guys, because they are... A pretty potent piece of meat, I think. Onion, carrot... I can probably store one, eat one of them and store one of them, I suppose. Grab another water. Because I think these guys give you a little, little bit more than the normal amount. Because apparently it's extremely high quality meat. Alright, so I think I can eat one. If I eat one. I'm basically right up to full, full protein again, which is great. Alright, well ooh, that worked pretty well, I'm pretty happy with that. As the sun goes down on another subsistence world. Subsistence world day, I should say. Alright everyone, well I'm going to have to leave the episode here, but we've tested it out, we've been to the outpost, picked up more ore. I'm probably going to look seriously now at upgrading, see even quite a fair few more solar panels on the roof. Um, we'll get that fixed up so the base is just powering along no pun intended um, and then very soon we're gonna have to make some changes to a few things one weapons two enable hunters three deter the hunters I don't know what hey he, he would really put that but yeah we're gonna go into battle with the hunters pretty soon get a few things organized and save up some more resources uh, because way down I think if I've got that right is it that way I think it's that way um, I'm gonna have to go and build another outpost base that should be cool. Anyway, I'm going to have to leave the episode here, people. If you've liked what you've seen today and you want to help and support the channel, please go ahead, smash the like button for us, and if you haven't already subscribed, you can help the channel out a lot by subscribing. Alright, thanks everyone. Cheers.